Frankie, check it out. Ah, it's our original knife case. The very first case that we bought. Right. Back in, I think, 2013 when, oh. uh, when we were like, oh, we're getting so many knives. We're going to need a yeah, place to put them all. Yeah, this is um, a joke because we have way more than this now. Well, we got a lot of knife cases that we keep in the safe these days. Mm -hmm. So this is one of them. But we found a new home for it, though. Right. Yeah. Yes, we have a well, new home for it. You guys will have seen. It's a, it's a Ganzo it's video. It's a Ganzo collection. <laughs> that is our Ganzo <laughs> collection. So we rededicated this case for the Ganzo knives. Yes, yeah, we still got some more to go. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about this case, though, real <laughs> yeah. quick. Yeah, I, I always kind of like this one, despite that it's cheap and falling apart. Right. Because of the mesh. Yeah, Frankie, you it, can just see the knives. It makes it so you can see through them. The spider packs from Spyderco are really cool too because they've got the plastic. Right. Um, so you uh -huh. can see through them. But the other cases where, yeah, where that it's just um, black. That it's just blacked over. You know, you don't necessarily want, know what knife is in each pocket. Right. But yeah. Mm -hmm. This was our first knife case. Let's it was these, our uh, first one. Before our knife obsession started. Well, it was at the beginning, yeah. wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We used to keep our knives uh, back then. What does this hold? About 30 or so? Yeah, I think about 30. Yeah, uh, we used to keep our knives on the kitchen <laughs> island. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We would just uh, <laughs> yeah. hang out with them in there. We would drink wine and like fondle the knives. And yeah, we finally got a good place to put them. Let's check out some of the Ganzos though. Okay. Well, yeah, okay, you got your hand on some of the, the new autos. The autos. Guys, these have been slowly trickling in from China over the last uh, week or two. 721, 736. Very similar, just different bit, blade little, styles. A little bit different. G10 on one uh, side. I think these also come in tan and black, I want to say. That'd yeah. be nice. Very cool. This one's really cool, too. It's one I of my favorites. Mm -hmm. um, it is the 719. 719. And look at that. This is just really cool looking. Yeah. And then you've got the Protect Godfather stiletto style. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. This one has a really smooth action to it. It does. The blade comes out of there. Yes, in it's really yeah. nice. It's like the spring uh, tension for it is just perfect. Yeah, this it is really cool. This one's my favorite of these green G10 versions. I like that clip point. I know, I there. do too. Yeah. I like how it's silver on the one side and then the green on the other side too. Sweet but this knives. is awesome too. Yeah, I love that one. If Let's you guys go. know Protec, these are all uh, very cool. Not legal everywhere. Really stupid. Let's go to my claws. favorites though. <laughs> Which is crazy. Okay. That one totally makes sense. It's your favorite. I yeah. bought that one. That was at the time the smallest of the Ganzo blades that I could yeah. find. It's, I it's love a pretty this good one. That's thing. the 724. 724, yeah. Yep. I'm surprised you like this yeah. one. Yeah. I well, love this guy. A little lion steel. It's a copy with <laughs> an access lock. With an access lock, right. It's a copy of a lion steel SR2 with an access lock. I'm surprised you like this one. Though. I just, I don't know. I love the shape of the handle. Also a ripoff of a lion, lion steel, steel. <laughs> with uh -huh. an access lock. <laughs> I know. It's just a weird combo. That's a beefy knife. That's Big Chunky but, yeah. Ganzo. Big Chunky Ganzo. You guys heard about him yep. in the last Check video. Check out this one. It's brand new. This one's brand new? To us anyway. Came with a whistle. It works. <laughs> the dogs are probably cooking uh -huh. up in the other room. Yeah. And then with the black wash or black colored blade. You're thinking, you're thinking uh, Kershaw. I know. Yeah, the, the black finish on there. I like that with the orange. This is a really cool knife. Yeah. It is really neat looking. It's yeah. a 741 is what this guy is. 741, yeah. With rape whistle. <laughs> with rape whistle. <laughs> Check it out. This is the, what is that one, Frankie? 714. 714. This was a cheap little guy, 12 or 13 bucks. Um, he has a nice a sound stud. to it. Yeah, just a thumb stud and liner lock, simple knife. but uh, it has a nice thwack. Yep, I've broken that one in. He's a good thwacker. Mm -hmm. yeah, good EDC <laughs> user. What do you got there? Um, this is a Benchmade-esque one. You know, it almost looks say. like the Benchmade, um, gosh, I forget the I forget the name of it. One of the, uh, I can't remember the name, maybe yeah. I'll annotate it if, if I think of it. But yeah, very much Benchmade-like, and of uh -huh. course with the Axis Lock. Bruh. Extremely smooth. It is, and it's really, actually, this one's pretty lightweight too. Not bad, huh? Some of, these, some of these Ganzos are heavy. Uh -huh. They yeah. Like we call them, Chunky Ganzos. Chunky Ganzos, yeah. Big old Chunky Ganzos. Frankie? Uh, here, let's go through the 704s real quick. Okay. We did these in our last video, if you caught that. This is the 704 uh, in green. Green. Well, OD green, and that's, I don't know what you'd call that. Zombie green. Zombie green, okay. Works for me. And then the tan. Then the tan, yep. I had got these because I thought about giving a couple of them out, and I just didn't like them as much. These are some of my least favorite Ganzos. Some people uh -huh. like them, I understand. It's a cool shape. It's modeled after uh, Benchmade HK. What is that okay, one? this is the 742. I really like this one. Frankie. I really like it too. It's, it's really thin. thin. It's yeah. thin and it's a it's a frame lock. Yeah. Check that out. Frame lock. Tip up. Big old blade on that. Yeah, that's my style mm -hmm. of knife. Yeah. yeah. I like it. It still needs a break in. A lot of these do. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Okay, and then 
Actually, I think since you said HK, mm -hmm. I think that's what this reminds me of. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. Doesn't we it, weren't sure if this is a we copy don't have of any anything HKs. particular. Um, but it's or a very a cool knife. Or a SOG. SOG, yeah. Or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. This one still needs a break in. This one's kind of stiff. Yeah. One thing I did notice with these Ganzos is that the access locks mm -hmm. are actually really stiff. They are stiff, yeah. And um, they can be adjusted. We might do that on one or two of these later on. Yeah, so that's one thing I've just noticed. So it's kind of hard to pull it back for me. Mm -hmm. But then there's this one that's real cool, too. With um, the Tanto. Y you mentioned SOG? Mm-hmm. It does kind of have a SOG look to it. I don't know specifically. Yeah. Maybe the SOGzilla. I'm not sure which, which yeah, one Yeah, maybe. One is. Yeah. Uh -huh. And this is the 701. 701? Yeah, I kind of like that one. I was just thinking this looks like that Kaiser Sovereign Tang with that channel mm -hmm. with the holes Sovereign in the blade. Sovereign Tang. Yep. I just like to say Tang. Tang. Okay, what's this guy? That is, so that's the Benchmade Rift copy. Right, the Rift copy. Or, this one is really nice, and yeah. you've broken this one in pretty good, too. Yeah, yeah. We've got one of these out in the field. Oh yeah, testing. For testing, yeah, mm -hmm. yep, yep. This is another Benchmade esque one too. Yeah, that's the seven seventeen, I believe. Yep. We looked at that one in uh -huh. our first video. Very smooth, little big for your hands. <laughs> it, the shape on this one, or the blade length on this one, I criticized could be just a touch longer. It seems yeah, like more handle than short, blade. Yeah. Like yeah, I don't know, mismatch. What else we got? And then this one is one of my new favorites. Okay, yeah. Did we get the Rat One out? Oh yeah, we did. Okay, so this is the. This is the uh, ripoff of the Rat 1. Frankie, that knife right there, okay, that's the Ontario Rat 1. That mm -hmm. knife's only $30. Right. <laughs> and then Ganzo comes along and they make a $10 cheaper version, okay? <laughs> like, of all the knives to kind of rip off, right. it's kind of Although, I will say it's a good design. The Rat mm -hmm. 1 is a very popular yeah, knife for is. a reason. But it's like, you know, of all the yeah. knives. The thing but is that this one, lock. Yeah. It's thin, too. It's thinner. The than the Rat, rat. 1. I know. Yeah. It weighs less, too. With an Axis yeah. lock with 440C steel versus OS 8, dare I say this could be a better knife. Right. Or a knife that people prefer over the actual wrap. Well, and I love this camo print. It's yeah, really those, cool. they come in a variety of colors. I thought I'd try the camo. Yeah. And then we got the Spyderco um, <laughs> Paramilitary 2 copy with an access lock. As opposed to the <laughs> compression lock that they do? Yes, yes. Um, this one is bound to be popular. Frankie, let me see that one there. Okay. Which, which number is it anyway? Um, it is 729. 729. Yeah, this, okay, so the paramilitary two, Frankie, what do those go for price wise? Mm, like 120, 130. Something like that, right? Very expensive knife. Very good knife. We have one. Right. Um, this one is bound to be popular. It's got an axis lock. I mean, <laughs> that's so cool. The best cool. of both worlds. Kind of, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, not that the compression, I mean, the compression lock is great, but. Right. Yeah, for whatever the price these go for, right around 20 bucks. I mean, come on. Mm -hmm. awesome. Oh, and then let's go with the, one of our both favorites. Is This one is just awesome. That this is, is the 712. The 712. Yes. Frankie, let's pause for a second. Okay, let's pause. Guys, if you made it this far, you might be rewarded. Yes, rewarded handsomely. We're just going to do this real quick. Real quick. Okay, you'll want to pause here. If you made it this far in the video, this will be a test if you're watching. Right. Okay. And you'll want to pause here. And it is for one of these. Which is what we just did. Okay, Frankie, let's get rid of these. Mm -hmm. That's all we're going to say. Back to the knives. Here's the 712. Very cool. I, I, yeah, I love the shape of that one. Frankie, I used this one to, um, well, this is a copy of a Benchmade, copy ripoff, what do you want to say, of a it's Benchmade Bedlam. bedlam. Yeah, yes. the Bedlam. Um, and I came so close to buying the Bedlam, but it's like $250. It's this a very expensive one is knife. so cool. Isn't it, though? Isn't yeah, it? the blade shape is just awesome. It's a, it's a trailing point Persian-style blade. It looks uh, like a rhino. So this, I don't, I don't have the exact, um, we had access to the Rift, okay? Yeah. This is a very close copy of the mm -hmm. Rift. This, I'm guessing, is a very close copy to the Bedlam, but I don't have one to compare it to. Right, yeah, we don't have a comparison. Um, it's awesome. It's very, very cool. It's a manual knife. Good defense knife. Good Anybody everything Anybody that has knife. a Bedlam and this, let us know how they compare. What you think, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That one I used, uh, you can see it's the blades all kind of gummed yeah. up there. I was used to breaking down some cardboard, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ganzo knives. Ganzo knives. Spread with sweet cream. Spread with sweet cream. That's a weird reference. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out, guys. Ganzo knives. This is kind of a collection. Mm -hmm. Very cool. I like them. Yeah, they're fun. All of these knives, not a whole lot of money. Yeah, not too bad at all. Yeah. But 
Stand out. Stand, stand out. out for you. Uh, for this me, this one is just so smooth the, too. The, the Protect kind yes. of. Yeah, that's a very cool knife. Um, for me, the best knives. This I really do like awesome. the 724. Love the 712. He reminds me, Love like I said, copy. of a rhino or like those rhino beetles. <laughs> the oh, rhino with the, beetle with the yeah. three horned okay. beetles. They're yeah. awesome. Leave it to Frankie to do an animal reference. <laughs> really love this one, the Rift copy, very cool. Mm -hmm. Guys, they're ripoffs, but they're not they're not um, like fakes, right? Because they're putting their own name on them. I'm mm -hmm. so glad that they put their own name on them, true, as opposed yeah. to pushing these out as fakes because yeah. it just floods the market with. I don't know. It's just a dangerous situation. Right. Um, yeah, these, but are, these, these are, are awesome. These are fun. I mean, these represent some good value. Mm -hmm. It's kind of funny to choose like parts of each one too, because yeah, lion steel with access lock. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. like yeah. spider co with access lock. It's just kind of. I a like weird when they. Combo. I like when they do things that are. Like their own. They're more or less their own. Like mm -hmm. this one. I don't know if this is based off of anything particular. It's thin frame lock, big old beefy 440C blade. We it's talked nice. about it. Yeah. 440C is a good steel. We're still uh, we're still looking to do some testing, and like I said, we've got some knives out in the field that we'll find out a little yeah, bit more from. Yeah, that'll be fun to check yeah. them out. Ganzo knives, everybody. Ganzo knives. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, look for look for more of these. We might pick one or two favorites out and do some more uh, cutting tests, or uh -huh. who knows, individual reviews <laughs> in the future. But yeah, Ganzo knives. They sure are fun. Yep. Yeah. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Bye.